Hey everyone, I'm going to show you how to program a repeater into this TYT TH350. So start with entering the frequency of the output of the repeater you want to listen to. Then uh, go to your menu, go to menu uh, 14 and 15 uh, is going to be your transmit tone and your receive tone. So if you need to enter one of those, so if the repeater needs a tone to access it, you need to enter it on the transmit. If the repeater is broadcasting a sub-audible tone, you need to enter it on the receive. So let's say our repeater uh, needs a, a audible tone, a sub-audible tone to access it. So you go to the T, CDC, hit menu. And when it goes down into that menu, hit the VM button. And that allows you to cycle through the different types of tones. So we have a sub-audible tone. So you're going to go to there and then we'll turn it up. Let's say it's uh, 127. So there you go, 127.3. When you have the tone you want, hit enter to save it. Now that's saved as your transmit tone so you would be you'll be broadcasting a sub audible tone uh, on this memory channel when you save it then you gotta go up to your offset which is menu 26 i think so let's say that this repeater has a positive offset that's your only options here no offset negative offset positive offset so we'll hit enter to choose that we'll go to menu 27 uh, typical VHF offset is 600, uh, 600 kilohertz. So that's what we have entered in there. Um, so that's already set. If you needed to adjust it, you just go in there and you uh, type in what you want. So 0060. 0060 is all it wants. And that's saved. So now you have your tone set, you have your offset set. So all you really need left to do here is to save this channel. So exit over the menus and hold the menu button until that little guy pops up over there. And then that's giving you the number of the memory it's going to save this channel in. So we'll go with 20. We'll hit enter. Okay, then I'll switch over to my to my uh, memory channels. So I have my memory channels programmed in here, and that receiver we just programmed in one four six two hundred uh, now comes up as memory channel twenty. You can see it has a a positive offset there. And it has saved our transmit tone, our sub-audible tone. So that's all there is to programming this radio from the keypad. Um, you can save a name to the channel through the programming software. Uh, so if you get the cable that plugs in here, it's available pretty cheap. The programming software is available for free. And in that software, it has a, a slot, a column for you to enter the name for the channel. So that's why my other channels show up with a name on them. Um, but you can't, you just can't program the name in from the keypad for whatever reason. So um, you'll, you'll need to get the programming software for that. But other than that, uh, there's no name on there. But that repeater is plugged in, good to go. We can use it. I uh, hope this helps somebody out. Thanks for watching, everyone.